at the hyderabad public school on study with sudhir we are going to be discussing the icsc class 10 mathematics paper with madhuri ma'am lata madhuri ma'am uh, what, what would be the advice you would give to students uh, yeah. not much of a gap before the mathematics paper True. does that add more pressure to the preparation strategy pressure any time it is there whichever the exam in house exam or the board exam any time the pressure will be there but people do overcome now at the last stage because it's almost the learning part is over it's only the revision time so they will have to actually plan very well their revision time now it's the time to solve sample papers mm. time to um, uh, learn time management actually mm. so that they will be doing it now this okay. time because learning part of it should be done by now okay so, so let's talk about each one of them one by one mcqs yeah. does that make it easy for the students or does that make more, it more tricky uh, there are two ways to think about two ways to look at look about it see mcqs when the answer is readily available it feels easy so it feels it looks very easy because the ready answers are available but out out of the four options only one is the right correct one and the others are actually distractors hmm. so very cleverly the distractors are so the planned. elimination method needs to be used elimination and calculating calculation actually it's not the concept it's not the formula that is asked in icsc it's hmm. every time the application and there will be sometimes tricky applications also so they have to be uh, very very clear careful and the presence of mind should mm. be there while attempting the mcqs so in the 15 minutes of reading time do you mm. suggest that they look at the mcqs solve the mcqs or do they look at the uh, the second part uh, the 15 minutes reading time they give a glance to the uh, mcqs is ideal mm. my suggestion mm. because uh, if they go on reading those 15 mcqs the time won't be sufficient to cover the entire paper in the 15 minutes of reading time yeah. right so and section b they have to select the questions that are easily can be done yeah. so that time can be used for that selection and mcqs anyway while they are solving it mm. they should be they will be able to complete mm. it okay. and one thing i wanted to tell to all the students here is mm. uh, when they are writing the mcqs they have to just write the alphabet for that particular option what they do is they write the answer there mm. answer need not be written there i mean the Either calculation a, need not be shown obviously calculation need not be shown that can be done in the rough column yeah. but just that uh, question number 1 bit 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 15 mm. b c a or a b c whichever the correct uh, sequence they just have to write the options mm. they cannot they need not write the answers and the calculation right? do they need to show on the right hand side of the sheet generally that is what is advised because do the examiners i mean do the examiners see that mcqs they don't they don't they don't sometimes what happens the posting errors may be there yeah a benefit of doubt in rare cases may be given hmm. but not every time that is if the so, student has calculated it correctly and the but posting, instead of b has written c uh, so no no that won't be okay. given b b b is b c okay. is c okay the mark is given to only the correct option okay there. so benefit of doubt can be given in what, what uh, the case? descriptive sums the four markers okay, or okay, six the four markers marker. yeah, okay. or some the, there will be one six marker yes so there Slight possibility. It's hmm. not that they have to be given, hmm. but somewhere some benefit of doubt when hmm. the student is close to the pass mark and he should be benefited by the qualifying pass mark, hmm. or maybe some such circumstances it could be hmm. taken, but okay. not otherwise. So, which which are the chapters that students generally find tricky? Of course, not to generalize, but uh, uh, or what are the areas? What are the chapters where students, at least in the pre-board papers, have made more mistakes? And what kind of see, mistakes? Chapter number one is. heights and distances yeah. they have to comprehend the data given in the word format and convert it to a pitch pictorial mm. information mm. then start the uh, in, uh, formula the correct formula correct substitutions and all that so if they can draw the pitch the, the, the diagram correctly then the sum is automatically done so they will have to understand the sum learn it by i mean understand comprehend it mm -hmm. then it will be better for them to mm -hmm. uh, solve it easily another area is quadratic equations word problems in quadratic equations no uh, and also the equation is given uh, using the discriminant formula when they have to find the answers there are two things correct up to two significant figures or correct up to two places of decimal mm. that's where there is a little slight confusion mm. so significant figures means they'll be counting zero um in the right place mm. end of it they don't count so that that area they have to be very careful for this they have to uh, they have to uh, learn the square root uh, learn to find out the square roots also mm. 
So they will be given the tables, log yeah. tables book will yeah. be given to you. From the tables, we have taught how to read the table yeah. to find square roots. Mm -hmm. So if they learn that, it will be quick for them. Otherwise, they will leave it at that particular mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. Generally, they go wrong. And pre-approximation will never work. Mm -hmm. It's the approximation. If it is required, it has to be done only, only at the end of the answer. Not at every step in between. Mm -hmm. So that gives a, a 0.5 error or 0.7 error yeah. from there. So pre-approximation is never done. It should never be done. Okay. Right. Now, uh, in terms of time management, do you suggest that they finish off with the MCQs first and then get to the rest of the paper or uh, it could be the other way around? It could be the other way around what I suggest. Mm. I personally feel mm. if they finish the descriptive type mm. of it, it's scoring. Mm. MCQ is one odd mark, if, one odd sum if they do wrong also, one mark at the most they will lose. They mm. should not lose it. Yeah. But uh, the chance is less mm. over there. So mm. MCQs can be dealt with at the end. Uh, that's that would be ideal because sometimes what happens they keep on doing the work for mm. that MCQs also which is not required yeah so shortcut methods they can use for MCQs also. lastly uh, do you uh, advise that students should attempt an extra question or use that time to revise what they have already done uh, the time that is given to you uh, given to the students mm. to solve it is two and a half hours writing time yes they should generally finish the section A mm. 40 marks mm. in one hour Okay. And the other one, next second R is for finishing the 40 marks part of it in section B. Mm. That's how they can manage because okay. by then the simplification, I mean the learning is already done. Yeah. They should be able to do it. Mm. The last half an hour, either they can do a thorough check mm. or they can attempt the extra questions. Okay. Extra, yes, they should be attempting because you never know math, computational errors, 2 into 2, sometimes they can write it as 6 or 2 square, they can write it as something else. Mm. It happens. Mm. We come across many times. Yeah. But then it's always advisable to attempt the extra ones mm. if they are comfortable, confident with the mm. uh, rest of the paper. So one hour for section A, one hour approximately for section B and yeah. the remaining 25 to 30 minutes, either for they attempt checking. an extra question and yeah. also of course revision. Yeah, thorough checking should, thorough be, done. should yeah. be done. checking should be done. Right. Thank you very much ma'am for Thank your you time. So Thank you very all much. All the best dear students. Hope you all do very well. Thank you. Thank you.